Hi, how's it going? Chris Graham here for We Love Betting on this Friday afternoon. I spent ages filming last night. Three attempts and they all failed, which was quite annoying. So I'm a bit behind schedule this weekend, hence why it's a bit later. But anyway, uh, three Premier League tips this weekend. On a fairly decent run. I think four weekends of the last five has been a winning video, so I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Anyway, I'm just going to kick on here. Burnley against Crystal Palace, first game. Loving both these sides at the moment, that's for sure. Got a lot of love and affection for both of them. Sean Dyche, you know, I mentioned in previous videos how much respect and admiration I've got for this guy. I'd love to love to work alongside him. Um, just to see, just to get a feel for his methods. I think he'd be a really uh, motivating manager to get the best out of you as a human being. That's for sure. He's certainly getting the best of his Burnley side at the moment. Wind the clock back a couple of months back to the morning of November the 8th. They were actually... Uh, five points of drift to safety in the Premier League and had a big fat zero in the wins column um, at that particular time. But since that day when they beat Hall 1 0, everything's turned around, everything's changed, and they're looking in a lot better shape. I'm sure Dice said at the time that he did say that, you know, just one win and that might release a lot of tension, release a lot of confidence, and that's definitely the case. So, big respect to Sean Dice for that. Since the whole game, they played 12 matches in the Premier League. They won three times and drawn five times, and that is that's pretty impressive. From three and five adrift to safety, they're now up in 17th place in safety. Um, and they've got a real chance of surviving, that's for sure, definitely. So, you know, kudos to Burnley, that's for sure. Um, if Burnley's crucial date was November the 8th, 2014, and perhaps Crystal Palace's was January the 3rd, 2015, that was the day Alan Pardew was appointed manager of course and since he's turned up um, he's done particularly well 4-0 uh, win over Dover was as straightforward as the scoreline suggests in the FA Cup and of course last week they, they beat uh, Tottenham 2-1 in the Premier League which shocked a lot of people but not me because I, I put them up with a double chance last week so yeah I didn't mention it. it's fine um, so yeah Palace uh, playing well Pardew for me made it specifically clear that in, in the previous videos I've got a lot of time for the guys I'm manager. I think he, I think he did really well at Newcastle. And um, I think he'll keep Palace up. He's got the tools to, to keep them in the top division. And um, yeah, I, I like them. I like both these sides, as I say. Palace tails will be high after their win last week against Spurs. Burnley scored in 11 of the last 13 matches. I'm moving in towards both teams to score here. Betfair 21 to 20 odds against. I'll take that. Game two, QPR again. Yep, yep, here we go again. Uh, QPR at home, always too big a price for me. So if you ask me, Chris, which of the 20 signs in the Premier League made you the most money this season, it's without doubt QPR. So why am I going to desert them now? I'm not going to desert them now. I hope Manchester United on Saturday. And yeah, I... I, I I don't know. I don't understand why their away form is so different to their home form. I didn't get it. I'm not clever enough when it comes to football to understand why they be have such different form when essentially they're still playing in a, in a strip of grass, whether it's away from Loftus Road or at Loftus Road. How can you be played ten, lost ten away from home and be eighth and unbeaten the seven, and the eighth in the home table and unbeaten the seven at home at Loftus Road? I'm not clever enough to work it out. I ain't clever enough to work that out. I just think it's preposterous. But anyway, while they keep playing well at home, I stick by them. They're five to one to win at home against Manchester United with Coral this particular weekend. Again, for me, that's too big a price. I ain't backing that. I'm not brave enough to back that, to be fair. But um, there's different different reasons to get against Man United. No Winston's box. No lead Winston's Boxing Day. Frustrating time for the fans at the moment. Wind the clock back a month and yeah, almost, the people in the media were starting to say, you know what, maybe Man United could win this title. We had that good one, I think six wins in a row, but they've went a bit quiet, haven't they? Um, yeah, it's, it's just, it's not been a great, great few weeks for, um, sorry, great few weeks for Louis van Gaal's side. They drew with, um, drew with Villa, drew with Stoke, drew with Spurs, got beat by Southampton on Sunday, deservedly so. And um, yeah, they've, they've they've dropped off the pace again. Still in third place. Uh, their away form this season has been poor, unlike last year. And then boys, just two wins in ten games in the league away from Old Trafford. 
and um, when you when you're coming to Fortress Loftus Road, um, that's a big task ahead, and I'm happy to take Man United on. Being a bit of a pussy, I must say, by um, by back in QPR plus one in Asian handicap at 13 to 16, a bit of victor, which is essentially a bit bigger than four to five, so it's still an all right price. Yeah, I could have been braver. I get that, but um, I'm not. QPR plus one, Asian handicap, 13 to 16, a bit better, I like that. And finally, game three, game three, Man City against Arsenal, um, four o'clock Sunday, Sky Sports one. Manchester Man City haven't won a Premier League game since April with the Yaya Toure in the lineup. He ain't playing on Sunday, he's away to the African Nations Cup. Well, Danny back Man City then, Chris. <laughs> I will. Uh, I don't care about that stat. It's simple, really. It's simple. Arsenal. You know, for me, they've got a mental problem against these big sides. It's not an, an original idea at all. The stats back it up. Um, Arsenal, in some ways, are the most predictable team in the league. You know, you can almost track them to perfection at the time. They'll beat anyone, pretty much, by the top six or so at home. They'll suffer the odd away howler against a team they should never be beaten by. And um, they'll almost always lose away to the, these top sides. Last season in the eight matches against the fellow top five sides, so that'd be Man City, Chelsea, uh, Liverpool and Everton, they won just once, that was a home win against Liverpool in November, and they lost all four away games in that series. Hemorrhage and an astonishing 20 goals in those four games. Awful. This season they've kicked off in similar style, lost away to Chelsea and Southampton uh, and um, been beaten. By Man United at home as well. They drew Everton away, but Everton are the same beast this year, are they? It's a very, very poor record against these top sides, and I expect that to continue this weekend. Man City unbeaten 14, and of course they've dropped points against Everton and Burnley in recent weeks, but for me they're just a much better side. They'll have their heads screwed on here. They're aware that if they drop points here, they could be at four or five points behind Chelsea. Um, and that is not a nice thought, is it, for Man City fans, or for any fans, isn't it? Uh, Man City 5 to 6 with Connor. I think it's a great bet. It's my bet of the weekend. There's my three Premier League bets. Have a great weekend. I'm at the start doing Scotland, so I'm going to feel like death on Monday.